Good morning, guys. Well, what have we got here? Um, this is parts for a gravity-powered car. Which I can't get off the bed at the moment. But it's another one that's going to be using... that chassis and changing bits on it right we'll have a look at the bits uh, it was raining this morning but the sun's come out so we've got bright sh bright sunlight and shadows sorry about that anyway let's see okay that one of those bits. That is another one of those bits. That is a gear. Uh, that is supposed to fit in, but that's a bit of a tight fit. Still, we can fix that. So that's going to be pivoted across the car with a weight on the end of it. So gravity, it'll fall over. And as it falls over, those teeth there will return that gear there, which will be on the back axle. I have to clean that up a little bit. This is very definitely version one. What I'm thinking is I'll probably have a another gear in between them. So this will turn a small gear. That will be attached to a big gear, which will then turn a small gear like that on the back axle. But we're going to give it a try just like this first just to see what happens. Now, if you count the teeth, um, I think that was 60 in total, so that's about 15 teeth. That's about 10 teeth. So the maximum that can do is about one and a half turns, which isn't very much in the terms of driving the car forwards, but it should be enough for us to actually see what's going to happen. So that's the pivot just a bicycle spoke going through there and then on this bit I'm actually gonna attach that it's one I used for a previous project it's quite a heavy weight but if I just leave it on that piece of wood and tape it in place it means that if I need to lengthen it then I can just move it out and tape it a bit further up. So that's just convenient to do that. And then the other thing is, when that does that, I think I've made a miscalculation. That last tooth has actually got to come off the axle if it stays attached to the gear on the axle then it will stop the car it actually needs to flick off it uh, you'll see what I mean in a minute but it needs to actually come off so the car can freewheel if it stays attached it'll act like a brake and it'll just stop it dead well we're assembled. You'll see that does make the wheels turn. Um, I'm using a different weight there just because it was convenient. Uh, 
Right, we just hold it there. Oh. Let it go. So there you go. That's without an intermediate gear. So we're getting about, I don't know, eight feet, maybe 10 feet. When we have an intermediate gear in it, it'll go the opposite direction because the intermediate gear will change the rotation. So at the moment it's front wheel drive going that way. But when I've designed and printed an intermediate gear, that will have the effect of making it go that way. We'll just give this one more try. I'll put a bit of um, matting under it so the front wheels can grip as it takes off. There's several problems here or issues that we need to address. One of the main ones is, as the weight comes down, it hits here so hard, it's bouncing the front wheels off the ground. And that's not good. Although, when they do bounce off the ground, it's actually finished driving the car forwards because they've disconnected, which was the whole point of getting the alignment right. You see the freewheel. So that part's right. But the fact that's thumping down so hard on there, when I mean, if I remove the cross pieces, then it'll go down further and might even hit the floor that might be an option just get rid of these pieces they're just left over from previous builds anyway the other thing is when that does thump down like that and hit that it's putting a lot of stress on the back wheels and it's probably going to break the cds probably but on the positive side if i put an intermediate gear in there that will slow the speed of that falling. So it probably won't hit the ground or hit the back as hard. But I do like the general idea, the fact that I've got it so it does disconnect and allows it to freewheel. So that bit's good. I think this is overcomplicated. Just a weight on her pulley and her bit of string works perfectly well, but I just thought I'd give it a try. So we may go to the next stage. We may try and fit the intermediate gear in there. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.